Okay, so I found this great website called Easy EDA, Circuit Board Design website. The cool thing about it is they have all the tools online, so there's nothing to download. You just get up here and start designing your project. Uh, this is a really simple circuit board, uh, but you can do very complex. I think they do up to six layers and all kinds of stuff, a lot of helps and tools and all that sort of stuff and you get your circuit board all designed and then the really cool thing is is once your circuit board's designed you click this little order button up here and it takes you to their order page and you can get these things for next to nothing I mean 30 circuit boards 18 bucks okay by the time you pay it, the, the shipping was about nine dollars so I ended up paying about 30 bucks for 30 copies of this circuit board um, it comes from China, and then today, guess what? Here it is. So uh, it's been about two weeks, and I'm going to open this thing up. Okay, so here's my package, circuit boards, and what I'm actually trying to do is, is replace some of this rat's nest that I've got going here. So each one of these is, a circ is going to be a circuit board, okay? So I've got 15 channels on here. Uh, each one can run a stepper motor or some other whatever, whatever these, you know, I'm doing with these chips here. Um, so I just want to clean this up, make a circuit board for each one, and then I can, uh, you know, put them on a project the way that I wanted to. All right, so let's open this baby up and see what we got. foam packed in here and there are our circuit boards and this little piece of plastic oh yeah you gotta love that I mean these things cost me a buck a piece because I ordered 30 of them but if you order you know the more you order cheaper they get so let's have a look at this thing up close all right let me get my camera focused there there we go oh that's a nice looking little board look at that you got um you know all these holes are this is a double-sided board all the holes plate through to the other side um you got your masking, you get masking on both sides. So this is a lead free one. Um, I think it's got some, so they've got, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a vias right here. So they go from top to bottom. Then you've got your plate through holes. Um, pretty simple, pretty simple little board, but man, they just do excellent. This is, uh, these pads are a little bigger than the default size for the pad. And then I did a, a fill it has a fill option, so the, this is all copper filled. Um, wow, I couldn't be happier with that board. Okay, so that board is going to replace a channel. So here's where the pick microcontroller will go. This will be my input, a serial input here, and then this will be my digital or analog input output over here. Got a place for LEDs, and this is just power coming in over there so everything I need for one channel right on this board so excellent I think I'll put one together and uh, show you the finished product okay now I've got this baby all soldered up this is my uh, microchip it's a PIC uh, 675 and then let's see you know here's power LED this is the this is the uh, 470 resistor to the power LED. Uh, we got a couple of 330s that protect the input. That's a capacitor that's needed for the for the pick to run. Um, this is a um, you know just a jumper that turns these LEDs on. So instead of using these output pins over here, I'm going to uh, turn these these LEDs on. And these are just some 470 ohm resistors that are uh, keeping the LEDs 
at the at the right you know keeping 10 milliamps running through the LEDs okay so here's our power this is your uh, negative positive pin these pins connect over to here and they power everything in here and then this is our input serial input and this is our serial output so basically what we're doing is the serial signal is going to come in here it's going to tell the chip what state to set the pins and that's what it's going to do it's going to set the pins and there's no response going back through uh, to the serial output but uh, if you want to check the state of the pins you can actually it'll send it back to you okay and then what we've got is this is a um, it's a USB to serial adapter and these things are about uh, you know two three dollars on on eBay and uh, so we'll just plug this into our USB port and then we'll control everything uh, over on the computer with uh, Python so let's get this thing going okay I have plugged up the USB there it is right up there and it runs down to here we've got our power light is on so we're good to go so let's go over here and see if we can just take a look at the code that we're going to do this is a really simple basically we're just going to do a binary counting okay so once we connect up to the module uh, basically so there's importing the module control um, connecting to the port um, setting the points or reading the points where they won't show here and then setting the, everything to low everything to outputs and then we're just going to go into this loop right here so while one which means infinite uh, for X and range 16 because we uh, have four lights so the four bits you can count to 16 um, we're going to write out to one, we're going to write X, and then we're going to just sleep for a half a second and do it again, right? Okay, so let me uh, control a five, and we should be rolling. Yep. All right. So here we are. Now, those of you that know how to count in binary will see that um, that's exactly what we're doing. This is um, this is your zero, one, two, and three. So we start uh, lights go out. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Back to zero. All right. Well, we got our module going. I love these boards, and they just look really nice. I mean, you can't beat it for a dollar. Sure makes things a lot neater. All right.